Nice to see the strippers have arrived. They'll be on later on. Comes another one, look, you rang. Come on, mate, you ain't got the rest of the dingles with you, have you? That's lovely. Well done, I ain't gonna take the piss too much. You've got a big and sitting next to you and he looks hard, look. He looks like one of the Mitchells, look. Peggy. Now, you're right, mate, you still have a little walk around. We'll help you on your way. Hi, ho! He's brilliant. He's the only man that's got a full-length photograph on his passport. I bet he's got turn-ups on his underpants in, you know. Follow at the back, table 18. That's how popular you are, sir. Obviously, you must know Mike very, very well. He'll be sitting on table 18. It's a bit of a pecking order. You notice he's got all the crumping around the front here, and I've got to be honest with you, mate. I've got to be honest with you, there is some lovely looking ladies here today. Some ugly ones as well, but I ain't going to point them out, they know who they are, so we'll leave that. Hello? You alright mate? We lost your luck then. In fact, I went to a quiz night in East London just two weeks ago. First question was, who are you looking at? First prize was a two-week alibi. In fact, I've got to tell you, if we had seagulls in East London, they'd fly upside down because there's nothing worth shitting on, I've got to tell you. I thought we'd treat the kids at Christmas to a traditional East End of London advent calendar. Got it home, 15 of the windows were boarded up. Oh, we've got all the services, I tell you. I pulled a blind prostitute in London. Blind prostitute. Fantastic she was. Oh, she's come back to see us tonight. Oh. I ain't gonna take the piss, you're lovely, love, I tell you. I wish I was your dad, I'd still be barfing you as it happens, but I got... <laughs> Very amazing, World Cup amongst us. How everybody's got to wear a football shirt. Don't matter where you go, you go out for a drink, somebody's sitting in a pub in a football shirt. Go out for a meal with a wife, boyfriend, go to the pub, someone is in a football shirt. I'm walking through town in front of me, a midget in an England football shirt. On the back, crouch. That ain't right, is it? <laughs> Half an hour later, he got mugged. I mean, who would stoop that low? Let's be fair about it. Now, <laughs> the fellow phoned up the doctor. He said, doctor, said, I can't say me F's, me T's, or me T-H's. The doctor said, well, you can't say fairer than that, then. Because <laughs> I thought I'd do the wife a favour this morning. I've got to be honest with you, ladies, I'm going to go up in your estimations now, because I got up this morning, my wife hadn't done the washing. I thought, no problem, I'll do the washing. How good's that? So I've opened up the washing machine, stuffed it all in. I thought, bit of soap powder, have some of that. I thought, bit of softener, have some of that. Shut the door, hit the button. Two hours later, she's not back from shopping. I thought, I'll do the husband thing and hang it up. So I've opened up the washing machine, pulled the washing out. You're never going to believe this. The cat was only asleep <laughs> in the middle of the washing. Oh. And I pulled it out, and there's the cat, brown bread, on top of the washing. I thought, well, at least it died in comfort. 